Um, so I just actually wrote a post on this on, on my, well, on a bunch of places today on my Substack and other places, um, because it's that ticking time bomb within the financial sector. And, uh, We've talked about that in the sort of establishment of all these grassroots efforts, and they're not even grassroots. They're actually just literally from the foundation of the United States, um, you know, up through, through all levels, um, that the private banking system is, is undergoing um, a tremendous strain right now. Uh, three things. One, that the big banks are bigger than they were before the financial crisis. They're bigger than they were um, since Dodd-Frank was passed in 2010 to supposedly alleviate their systemic risk. The regional banks are um, seeing delinquencies in commercial real estate loans that are increasing at paces more quickly than the subprime loan delinquencies increased in the years preceding the 2008 financial crisis. So the numbers and magnitude and momentum of delinquencies are actually increasing. And to top all of that, um, you know, as you mentioned, the, the amount of consumer debt, well, two more things, sorry. One more thing is the amount of consumer debt, um, which has just hit a new record according to New York Fed of $17.7 .7 trillion and had an and had a record last quarter of $184 billion of an increase is across all categories. So credit cards, auto loans, mortgages, that the, the, the amount of debt is unsustainable. So when you look at the actual growth figure, which I talked about in the way beginning, which Alfaco's talked about, um, it's being 2.8 or whatever it is, it, it you know, and you adjust inflation, and you take out the fact that a large component of even that growth is predicated on personal consumption. Personal consumption is predicated on debt. Debt is facing delinquencies and hyper high records. None of that bodes well for the banking system that actually extends this debt, let alone um, individuals who are trying to make ends meet. So again, a national infrastructure bank that actually are, are, can extend loans or create assets into infrastructure, which actually can produce economic benefit, um, is, is a much better purpose for that debt and for economic growth to help individuals you know, all throughout that chain. It's not gonna happen overnight, obviously, um, but the private current banking system is facing a, a large hill of potential problems on the other side to slide down it.